726 right now. Jose Raymond is a comedian who was born in Mexico, grew up in Watson, California, and has spent the last 18 years living on the island of Maui. But the day of the Lahaina wildfires changed his life. He lived in Lahaina, and mom's house was close by when they started to notice the smoke and the smell, and they started to move. It's a story you'll only see here on Hawaii News Now. In the next 15, 20 minutes, the fire was incredibly fast, man. Which I went to my house uh, across the street, grabbed, grabbed my dog, and tried to drive out. But Cahoma Village is, is kind of like a cul-de-sac neighborhood. It's kind of very, uh, it's only like two ways in and out. And one of the exits was blocked off by a tree and power lines. Another exit was just gridlock. Nobody was moving. And we were sitting on one of the streets trying to get into traffic. And all of a sudden, the day went into nighttime. It was pitch black for about three to four minutes. And I started thinking, you know, you start thinking of, your mind just starts thinking of everything you've learned about fires. And you're thinking, oh man, we're gonna pass out right now. I'm not gonna tell you, boy. Daddy. What's up? Is, is the world gonna end? We started, I started watching the drivers, people screaming in their cars. Um, and then you start seeing these little red dots fly by. And you realize that those are, you know, it's not, Dots, but it's fire embers. There was a house that started burning right next to us and kind of made a decision to get out of that traffic, go back in towards my neighborhood, park the car. We took a uh, kind of a little bit more serious now, took everything out of our backpacks for a little bit of water. Um, my older daughter, eldest daughter, Isel, she's 14, she put uh, swimming goggles on my son, uh, masks, everybody put on masks, and we kind of all chained up like a link and just ran. We had to run towards the smoke to be able to get out that neighborhood because I was thinking of breaking down gates and fences, but there was a, too many power lines down to risk it to, you know, to go with the kids. I've seen too many uh, movies where people get electrocuted. And I'm like, let's try to make it through the smoke. So we had to run a good about minute and a half, maybe two minutes through pitch black smoke. Um, I finally made it out and uh, um, there's more to that story, man. <laughs> um, just feel very fortunate, man, to have made it out. And uh, we ended up walking about six hours that day. Yeah, memories, man. And they, you know, I'm safe. They are currently staying with Jose's sister in Kihei. That's a video that you saw in the truck there. That was the daughter. And Jose didn't even know that his daughter started a video. And, and so in the meantime, they're continuing. Or he's continuing. He can't, when he, as he can with the comedy to not only make money, but also help Maui through laughter. Recently did a fundraiser here on Oahu at Blue Note Hawaii and is continuing to work with the Hawaii Community Fund to raise more funds for Maui. One of our Hawaii entertainers, once again, comedian Jose Raymond. Steve, I'll right. send it back over yep. to you. Thank you, Billy.